Select button speakers, a big, huge, wide screen, Game Boy Advance text, link cable port, the back, and wait. There is another Game Boy Advance like this in the house. It's Indigo, and my brother has it, so that's why when I found this Game Boy Advance battery cover, I used it for this. I tested it on my brother's Game Boy Advance and I said it worked. I chose to use it for this. And for most people who have a Game Boy Advance battery cover, they'll already know that a battery door usually breaks for most people. Even like this one that's been around in this household for all these years. So that is why I put tape on it. Sometimes it jiggles a little bit. And this thing uses two AA batteries. I don't really want to open it. And then it won't really work anymore. I have to put more tape on it. Noise outside, but everything's fine now. Okay, now a new, two new buttons added L and R buttons, shoulder buttons, and plus a new type of cartridge which looks like this. Here's Need to Speed Underground 2, for example, and I do have the original Need to Speed Underground. Oh, I don't know, they're both racing games. Well, that doesn't really matter. But here's the game. This game, plus, since this thing is dead, it turns off like a few seconds. Like, I'll just show you the graphics, I won't really play it, because this thing is dead. I need to get new batteries for it, and it does do a little bit of turning on, like, This thing croaks. So those are the graphics, and since you can't, since I can't really see on this thing. And I like to use it. That's why the worm light came in handy, which will make it easier for you all for y'all to see. Not really all, that's just my slime stuff. Sometimes the battery cover or battery door jiggles, which annoys me a little bit. But not really. 
I'll just show you the worm like I get like the system with the worm like it was also an attachment. I do have a game shark for this thing. Yeah, I do have a game shark for this thing. But I have to find it. So I could cheat. There was also an attachment for this thing called the e reader for which made a few features for different games like you could use it on Super Mario Bros. 3 or you could use it on Pokemon Sapphire probably. I mean, I do not have an e-reader, I do not have e-reader cards, but I plan on getting it soon. And it was only meant for this Game Boy, for that Game Boy right there. I'll show you the worm light. Like, if you have this system, and you do not have an SP or a micro, then you're going to want to buy one of these things, the worm light. Like it's easier to see. See? I thought the warm light was not for. Plus, I also found the Game Boy Advance carrying case. Like it wasn't for the micro or the SP. It was meant for the original model. And here it is. Huh. This with the noise. It's okay. Nothing to be scared of. Back to the carrying case. They can store your Game Boy Advance in here. At first, I thought it wouldn't fit in here, but it actually fits in here. Like, take a look. Like, here's the carrying case. Let's put it in. Voila! It fits. And now we can close it. And I have to admit, there are extra pockets. Like, if you want to put your games in there. Like, let me put a few games in there, for example. Like, a few cartridges. It won't really look good, but that's what's supposed to happen. I want to make sure you can see it. Never mind. Let's get these cartridges out. And pull down in Nothing. I always think of stuff. My gosh. Well, this case is mainly for the system. Close it, see how it looks. And look, it has a strap. 
so you can carry it easily. Now let's take it out. And voila, it's still there. And there you have it, the Game Boy Advance. Comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video or next review or whatever.